I did my first vlog like a little over three years ago. If you've watched that vlog, or even if you haven't watched that vlog, I'll put a link below if you want to watch it. I went to lunch with a friend of mine, Henry Carter. He lives in Cameron Park. He, uh, I mean, he has a house. He just, just doesn't live in the park. You know, he has a house in the park. He's an actor from way back in the day. I think these days he gives like one-on-one lessons. I'm gonna go pick him up. We try to have lunch about, you know, originally we were gonna go like once a month, but you know, things happen. And we try to go every few months. We haven't had, we haven't gone to lunch since uh, uh, probably January because COVID started and all that thing happened. But I think uh, we'll be fine. You know, we're, we'll wear a mask and we're gonna go to a restaurant downtown and uh, you know, have lunch. So my first vlog was called Big Day because I had a lot of things going on that day and I didn't know what else to call it. And well, so I'm gonna call this vlog Big Day Two because Henry Carter's in it. I have a few things I need to do. Uh, at three o'clock, I'm going to get a COVID test and not because I think I have it or anything, it's for something else that's coming up that I can't talk about yet. It's uh, not really top secret, but I don't want to jinx it. So I'm going to go get a COVID test at three. So hopefully between lunch and the COVID test, I can find time to go vote if the line's not too long. I've been hearing everywhere that the lines are like super freaking long. So anyway, that's what I have going on today on this big day two. So I guess it's trash day. He's got his trash can right down here and I can't get, get up the driveway. So I just called him and he's gonna walk down here and uh, he's gonna walk down here, yeah. And get in the car. Did you get a mask? Okay. He forgot his mask. I didn't want him to walk all the way down here and then have to walk all the way back. So I jumped out and asked him, did you, did you, did you forget your mask? Did you bring your mask? He's going back to get it. I tell you though, I hope I'm not offensive. I, I fell back asleep this morning <laughs> and I didn't have a chance to shower, but I've sprayed my body with brute after shave lotion. <laughs> I hope it's not too much. And if I hey, was, good thing I have this mask on. I won't be able to. Oh, yeah. yeah that's it, good. Yeah. 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 But I've I, noticed when I go to public bathrooms now, uh -huh. it doesn't stink as bad as it used to. <laughs> well, I hope I don't. I don't uh -huh. It doesn't hurt your car. I mean, the brute after shave lotion. It'll smell like brute. But it could My be My wife's going to be like, who? Hey, what, kind of, what kind of woman did you have in the car today? <laughs> no. I, I may have told you this, but uh, a fat lady got after me once. <laughs> and... Uh, it was a teacher I taught with when I taught theater at St. Mary's. And uh, she uh, she called one day and said, let's go get a hamburger. So I said, well, I'll get a hamburger out of it. So I drove up to get her and she came tripping down the stairs in an evening gown to get a hamburger. So <laughs> she was crazy. <laughs> so we went to get a hamburger and I took her home, and when she got out of the car, she said, she was, oh, I'm so disappointed in this date. And I thought to myself, Henry, disappoint, disappoint, disappoint. <laughs> 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 and she asked me to go to the dinner at St. Mary's for the parents and the, 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 the uh, teachers. And so <laughs> she came out with all these rings on every finger. And when we were sitting at the table, she said, would you pass me the, the salt, please? And displayed all her rings. <laughs> and everybody at the table went, Zink, and looked at me. You know. <laughs> and I thought, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I hope they're open. Yeah, they're open. Hey, one thing I like about wearing masks, 
Uh -huh. It's like if you see somebody you don't want to talk to, yeah. they might not recognize you. Yeah. This guy who owned the gym uh, would dance for women. And uh, I said one day, I said, you know, that's always been a, <laughs> a secret desire of mine to go and be a go-go dancer for women. <clears throat> and so one day he got ready to go and he said, I have to go somewhere, but I can't meet the, I can't be uh, at that private party for women. I have to do something else. I want you to go dance for me. My hair stood straight up. <laughs> And I said, I can't do that. Well, you said you could, you wanted to. And I said, no. I said, I don't, I said, I don't know the steps or anything like that. So you didn't do it though? No, no, I didn't dare go. And, uh, I would, if I'd gone, they would have thrown tomatoes. <laughs> well, All right, Henry. Uh, okay. We'll have to do it again. Thank you. All right, see you later. Uh -huh, bye -bye. Huh? Stay healthy. Alright, you too. Yeah. Alright, so it's COVID test time. They, you have to wear a mask while you do this. Alright, let's do this. Hello. How many people we got? Just, you? Just me. Alright, I'll do this as well. Yeah. Awesome. Got some free masks here on behalf of okay. the street, save you a little bit of money. Thank you. We're going to have you do is follow the cones all the way around to the next station. When you get over there, have your window up, paper ready, as well as your ID, and I'll take care of it. Okay. Marco, face the door with you, okay? All right. Got it. Thanks. Got my kit. So, I just pull out that file and the uh, to make sure that the information is labeled correctly on that file. You're gonna do uh, a nasal swab, okay, on both sides of your nose. Okay. Is there an easy way to, oh, there you yeah, go. It's not I got you. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna do about- I always a, try to do things the hard way. <laughs> yeah, that's the guys. <laughs> <laughs> we always do that. Every guy comes in there, <laughs> I'm like, okay, there's an easy way. Yeah. But you know, I just let them do it. Okay, so you're gonna go in about an inch. Okay. And on both sides, you're gonna do about four big circles. Okay. On each side. Big circles. There you go. Good, other side. Big circles. Yeah, you got it, all right. All the way down, you're gonna break it off at the stem. There's some, um, I don't think they're doing it here in Waco, but um, there's some testing that, that involves the cheek, uh -huh. like inside your cheek. But I, I don't know how accurate that is. That's gonna go all the way down, you gotta lock, you gotta just, yeah. Seal this up? Seal it up, yeah. Uh, this is going to take about three to five days to get the result back. Okay. Or you can go online, maybe see if it's back at covidoico.com. Uh, take it all the way down to the far tent and drop it off to those guys. Okay. All right, thanks, man. Thanks. There you go. Thanks very much. Thanks, man. That was easy. Now, let's see, it's still early enough. I think I'm gonna go vote. Going with Guillory. Hey, I know that guy. There's a lot of cars here. too bad it took me exactly 30 minutes to vote I got a free pen and a pencil because when you sign your name they give you the pencil I guess because they don't want anybody else to touch it and they give you a let's say pen pen I'm in a pen so and then you they give you a pencil to to vote with 
and so you don't touch the machine. They must go through a lot of pins and pencils. What's this say on there? McLennan boats. Anyway, that's done. I told you it was gonna be a big day. I'm all over the place. And now, I'm headed to HEB. So about a month ago, they moved everything around to the store. It drives me crazy. I'm just looking for the freaking gravy. I think it's on the next aisle over. Well, I just found out I didn't need to take the COVID test because the thing I'm doing next week that I'm not telling you about because I don't want to jinx it, they're actually giving me a COVID test that morning before the thing that I potentially could do, but I'm not going to talk about it. You'll have to wait till a future vlog to see to see what that's about. Anyway, it's been a long day already. It's barely 4.15. And uh, I think I'm done. Headed home.